On Wednesday during the hearing of the case, where nine people accused of the murder and kidnap of Susan Magara, the accused Yusuf Lubega informed the court of being tortured by the prosecution witness Frank Anyakairu. <laughs> That I was forced to accept. The allegations of the accused has been supported by an application to court by lawyers of the accused. In the case before Judge Alex Ajij. Section 4 of the Human Rights Enforcement Act 2019 provides for enforcement of rights and freedoms by this honorable court. Specifically, Section 8 of the same Act provides for staying the proceedings. My Lord, the evidence of torture originated from the time of arrest to the time of being produced in court. Lawyer Kumbuga contends that the accused were severely tortured by security operatives with the relevations of torture. The lawyers appealed to court to nullify the proceedings. My Lord, this application seeks to stop of the current proceedings wherein it provides that it, crimi it criminalizes the violation of fundamental human rights and requires court to nullify the trial if the non derogable rights, according to Article 24, uh, according to Article 44, non derogable rights, right to fair hearing and torture against torture, are violated. 44. Specifically, the right to fair hearing and the right against torture. However, trouble rose when the accused's legal team presented to court an unsatisfied document from prisons showing that Judge Jane Francis Sabodo had ordered the accused to go for the medical checkup. However, the documents were objected by the prosecution. Judge Alex Ajid said 19th November 2023 to deliver a ruling. The accused in the kidnap and murder of Susan Magara include Rubega Yusuf, Waswa Hussein, Salim Zamin, Chewoli Abubeka, Chisali Mahad. Kato Hassani Miro, Bukenya Ismail, Buembo Musabaz, and Hajaran Nakandi. The accused have been remanded to Ruzila Government Prison, Deborah Namamonde, UBC News.